Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, I just uploaded the video on the Europa League draw, and uh, this I won't post today. This will uh, maybe keep for the weekend. Uh, so it's not exactly a live video. Uh, never is a live video, but you know what I mean. Uh, just wanna add some thoughts on yesterday's Champions League draw procedure and honorary awards also the rumors that I hear about a new competition but let's first address the players awards of course Real Madrid uh, got most of the trophies I think the best goalkeeper was Kayla Navas uh, da. Uh, he's so great that he was now replaced by Courtois yeah uh, I think Navas should go to a different team uh, he has been continuously disrespected I think at Real Madrid uh, he basically saved them the Champions League uh, this past season, I think, so um, not appreciating him that way, I don't know. I think he, uh, if he goes to the, uh, the, he, any great team, will be happy to have him. And he might not be the world's best goalkeeper, but he is an outstanding goalkeeper. Uh, anyone who has seen the 94 World Cup, uh, 94, 2014, I'm living in the past. Ahead of my time and living in the past. Those are two qualities that I have. Nah. Uh, anyone who has seen his performance in Brazil in 14 uh, will know that he, this is an outstanding goalkeeper. Uh, and also what he's shown in Champions League, he has played for the best team uh, in the Champions League over the past three years. Well, maybe not the best team, but the one that won it three times in a row. So for that reason alone, uh, I think any other team should pick him up and get a decent goalkeeper. This is not a goalkeeper that deserves to be sitting on the bench. Don't need to say more about that. I think best defender was Sergio Ramos. Yeah. I can spend uh, half an hour at least talking about Sergio Ramos. Uh, yes, I think he, he is a great leader. Is he the best defender? No, I don't think so. I honestly don't think so, but he is definitely uh, one of the greatest leaders uh, in modern soccer and yeah, he knows the dark arts probably better than anyone around. Uh, when Pepe left Real Madrid, Ramos picked right up where Pepe left. Uh, it's almost, you expect him to get a red card, a card in the Classico. And then I think the best striker was Ronaldo, yeah, who else? Uh, and he was also the only one not present there. He, He's a little bit busy with his Juventus teammates. I guess now he doesn't want to see his Real Madrid teammates. Uh, also, on Ronaldo, we can make many videos, but not now. Uh, and then we shouldn't we shouldn't forget uh, the best female player was Pernille Harda. Uh, and anyone who has seen her in 2017 at Euros will uh, know that she is an outstanding uh, soccer player. Uh, I don't necessarily like always her demeanor. It's a little bit, a slight hint of arrogance with, in her, but you know, all the great players have some, something like that. I really think she played a great Euro, Euro tournament uh, in 2017. Uh, yes, I watched it. Uh, I actually, when, when it's on, I like to watch women's national team soccer. There is just something about it. There's this, uh, how to say, a certain innocence and grassroots feeling that you don't see with the big tournaments, the men's tournaments anymore. So I really like that part about it. And yeah, then there came the rumors that there's a third European competition planned. And my first thought is, are they really gonna resurrect the Cup Winners Cup? I cannot imagine that. And no, they're not gonna do that. Uh, for all of younger generations, there used to be three competitions before the Champions League got the bloated monster there that it is. There was a time up until the mid-90s when only the champions of each league could play in the Champions League. Um, and back then the format was also in such a way that, and you know, it was a lot more even. It actually was an exciting competition. I, li uh, I liked it a lot and the nice thing was that then the UEFA Cup was and super exciting European competition because you still got the cream of the crop and sometimes even better teams than the Champions League. And the Cup Winners' Cup was kind of this, yeah, you could get a lot of um, surprises in there because 
the cup, the national cup, is not always won by the best teams, and that's exactly what was the undoing of the Cup Winners' Cup. Although they have acquired a good role of honor, I think Barcelona is the record winner with four wins. Uh, it's also the one competition where Aust Austria, and I'm talking now about the local perspective, got actually four, uh, no, three, three teams made it to the finals, never won it, of course. But yeah. The Cup Winners' Cup was a cup that I personally always liked, especially when it got to the semi-finals. But you could see, starting at the mid-90s, that that was the time when people were really only talking about the Champions League. Uh, it went really fast. I think when the Champions League was established in 92, maybe 93, uh, then for real. Um, the brand identity got so strong, especially with the group stage that they had no choice but expanding it. Uh, I remember when Bayern won the UEFA Cup in 96, they called it the Losers' Cup. I don't want to win the Losers' Cup. And I never found this fair because uh, I remember from watching the UEFA Cup, this was a really great competition. Nothing like Europa League, and I have to give it to the Europa League. The, uh, now that the Champions League is kind of a dull competition, the Europa League, I think, very often serves up the better drama and better uh, matchups. Maybe last season not quite. I mean the quarterfinals in the Champions League last year, this was some of the best soccer uh, we've seen in a long time. So yeah. Uh, so um, what are, are, are they going to do with the third competition? I think it will be something that will favor and favor strongly the teams from the so-called lesser nations. So I I really imagine maybe uh, a competition where uh, you will have maybe no team from the top four leagues or something like that, uh, just to give the smaller teams a little shot and some glory. Uh, I imagine that this will be a, this could be a tour to, to tournament that will be won by teams from, say, Portugal, the Netherlands, Turkey, some something of that ilk, maybe, maybe not. So, uh, very unexpectedly I got into a traffic jam here. I will just talk just a teeny bit more uh, because I thought uh, about the relationship between Champions League and Europa League. Um, because you have it already in the, if you play in the Champions League playoff, whenever you lose in a qualification, whenever you lose a round, you are uh, automatically moved into the Euro uh, Europa League. Which, uh, while I think many don't like it, I actually do like it a little bit because you give the Champions League kind of this um, higher standing. It only departs once the group stage is over. So if you're eliminated in the Champions League in the round of 16, you're out. But my thinking was the other day, and I'm not sure if that's the best thing, because uh, what I'm about to suggest would mean that the Europa League final has to be played after the Champions League final, and that's not, never gonna happen. Or maybe you can, maybe you can do and have a second final. I thought uh, you could make a true uh, double elimination Champions League, kind of uh, a European competition. Kind of, if you're eliminated from the Champions League, yeah, you cannot compete for a Champions League anymore, but you could compete for the Euro Europa League. Just a thought out there. I'm not sure how you exactly would do that, but, and I'm not sure how fair it is. Uh, part of me doesn't like it, and another part thinks this could be interesting, you know, do the double elimination stuff. I don't know. Uh, let me know what, what you think about all that. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the awards uh, that were given out. Uh, what do you think about the plans for a third European competition? Do you have any memories from the Cup Winners' Cup? The long lost competition. And yeah, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. 
Thank you for watching and until next time.